5 Terrifying Prehistoric Snakes Modern snakes may be terrifying, but nothing compares to those of the past. Picture the frightening snakes that Goku or, <laughs> or Naruto deal with, but in real life. Don't believe me? Find out next. Gigantophis Until a few years ago, Gigantophis was the largest snake and the greatest exponent of terror. It was no wonder. This dangerous reptile was between 30.5 and 36 feet long. At this size, it could swallow any man as if he were just a mouse. This snake lived in southern Sahara, which would become the countries of Algeria and Egypt today, about 40 million years ago during the Eocene Epoch. Just like its modern relatives, this snake was a constrictor, and one of its favorite victims was the primitive elephants, but also crocodiles. Maybe it's hard for you to imagine a world where a snake would be able to scare these two animals, but this was a fact too long ago. No doubt, everything changed, luckily. Sanjay this snake was the terror of all dinosaurs that just laid eggs. This is Sanjay. There was no nest that was safe from the ravenous appetite of this snake, which, despite not having a flexible bone structure like modern snakes, was able to easily swallow baby dinosaurs measuring up to 19 inches. This threat that ever lived was about 11 feet long, a size that would certainly intimidate anyone. Oddly enough, despite the fact that its existence dates back to almost 67 million years ago, it was only found in 1984. This animal lived in what is now Western India in the late Cretaceous. Indians will feel better now knowing that this snake isn't around. Unambi. Australia is a country where the most dangerous animals on Earth can be found. However, in prehistoric times, this territory was a minefield. The snake Munambi was the perfect proof of that when it crawled during the Pleistocene Epoch, striking fear into those lands. This monster was 19 feet long and an ambush predator. That means Munambi stalked the prey and waited for it to get distracted before capturing it. Among its favorite prey were kangaroos, wallabies, or any other animal that came to drink water. Some scientists believe that its extinction has more to do with its interaction with Australian Aborigines than with climate changes during the Ice Age. Your longer. Australians must be relieved to no longer run into this terrible creature. Your longer was a fearsome predator that lived in such a territory during the Miocene Epoch. This was a very large snake, since it could grow to 19 feet long and measure about 18.11 inches in diameter, and had a significant presence in the Australian's Northern Territory. This terrifying reptile was a constrictor, so once it caught its prey, it squeezed it to death. Can you imagine that happening to a human? Well, the movie Anaconda showed something very similar. Many fossils were found in the fresh water. This means that, like Wanambi, the snake Yurlunger waited quietly in the water until prey came to drink. The Miocene Epoch was definitely not a good time to relax by the river and sunbathe. Now, let me show you the last snake of this terrifying list, but don't pretend you didn't see it coming. The video wouldn't be complete without it. This is nothing less than... Titanoboa. This snake will become your new nightmare, because with its size, it embarrasses the largest snakes of today. Titanoboa was nothing less than 45 feet long, making it the largest snake found to date. It could swallow all crocodiles that came across it with no problem as if it were a small fish. This giant reptile went throughout what is now known as the South American continent, specifically Colombia, about 60 million years ago during the Paleocene Epoch. It has been named the Titanobora cerayonesis for its size and for the Cerrajon coal mines where it was found, which is one of the largest open pit mines in the world. This snake was very skilled, as it could swim and hunt in water without any problem, as well as it caught its prey on land, just like modern snakes, such as anacondas or pythons do. This snake was a constrictor, and its favorite way of feeding was by suffocating its victims, something very similar to what you saw in the anime Naruto. And swallowing them whole. This giant snake is estimated to have become extinct about 58 million years ago during the Paleocene Eocene thermal maximum. This was due to the temperature changes the Earth underwent at that time. 
Do you not feel lucky? The trip to the past is over, and I'm sure you'd much rather choose modern snakes over those prehistoric monsters. Which one did you find the most terrifying? Let me know in the comments, like the video, and subscribe to Trend Max for more interesting videos.